Hey guys, welcome back to Eversoul. In today's video, we've got the new Valentine's Day event going on. So I wanted to take a look at it. I've done a spreadsheet over here with all the math on it. So we'll go through that as well. So you guys know what you're probably going to get from the event. Now, keep in mind, other things can come up. For instance, I didn't check the mail before I calculated all these. So you can add 300 onto all of these because uh, with this compensation of 4,200, man, they can do five hour maintenance every day and just give me that every day. I'd be pretty happy with it. But we did get a 24 hour resources and we got the uh, extra 300 of the new currency. So when you look at my calculations, we'll already have to add on 300. I don't know if they'll add more past that. So let's just get into the event. Then we'll get into the spreadsheet. It's very basic, very similar to the previous one. We got a 14 day login once again, we get a bunch of free stuff. Happy days. Uh, then we've got the daily stuff that we've got to do. It's literally, I, I believe it's the exact same things. No, because we've got a gift to soul. So the gift is a new one. So just spread out your gifts so you don't have to buy them would be the one there. Uh, send hearts, talk with souls, receive hearts. You know, just basic, basic stuff. The only thing that you'll probably have to add in uh, is I always you never used to go on outings because I, I don't do that stuff. But that one and also gifting the souls. That's going to be the one extra thing that you have to do in this one. And we do get a free copy of both of the, the you know, themed characters through this one, Rebecca and Jacqueline. So not too bad on that one. I'm really liking, liking this theme of events where you get free copies of characters. I'm all for it. So that is that one. Then we go into the actual event. Uh, first of all, we have the event story, which once again, just jump into a bunch of free summons, happy days, can't complain. Then we go into the, uh, the, the event stages. Now the event stages, there is seven of them. You get three challenges per day. Each stage has, if you look where, right where my head is, uh, each stage has an uh, initial clear reward, which you get one time, and then a clear reward for repeat clears. And that's where you're going to get the currencies. If I can move my head back to where it was, that's where you're going to get the currencies for the actual event. But you're also going to get a lot of food as well. So if we look over here and we get to stage seven, you're getting 35. That means you're getting like one and a half, a bit more than one and a half. If you're doing stage six, let's just keep it clean. You're getting uh, one and a half uh, rares. Wait, is it 50 or 60 for these bad boys? Click 60. Yeah, it's 60. Um, so yeah, you're getting one and a half per day extra rare fodder. So that's not too bad. I do like that. Um, so that's what we're looking at from the event. Like I said, you do have to clear each stage once. So I've only just cleared the first stage. You clear the second one, clear the third one, easy. And then you really want to push this as far as you can. Because as you can see, each stage you clear, each run, you're going to get 10 extra each stage uh, of the, uh, the love potion, is it? Yeah, the love potion. So, you know makes a big difference if you can push up higher and you'll see that on the spreadsheet when we look at it in a sec so definitely push the limits now when i did my one attack let's just jump in here and do my second attack so we can see i thought you were going to have to use separate teams for each one uh, i didn't hit the info button so you know what i mean uh seven levels each level is divided into two stages each have their own special buffs the buffs change every day okay so the buffs change every day uh that's cool you can reset your combat records while challenging a stage if you do your previous records will disappear uh you can get rewards so like i said when i did the first level i don't know if it's a bug because i thought this was meant to be like the the jewel gate not the jewel gate whatever that thing is that we do every day um i thought it was a bit where you can only use one team each time but it allowed me to take the same team into both of them which is quite handy should make pushing the higher stages a lot easier unless that's a bug and they fix it have to wait and see but definitely cool that you can take the same team in at least for now uh, and i hope they leave it like that then pushing a bit of a higher deficit becomes more viable i might even be able to clear stage six maybe stage seven depending on the buffs probably stage seven because the buffs are quite decent not too sure we'll have to wait and see how we go but i won't know uh, if i can do stage seven at least for another two days because you've only got three and then six so that is what we're looking at for the event. Okay, so here is the spreadsheet. I'll do my best to explain it as well as I can. Hopefully all my math is correct or near correct. Uh, I do apologize if I got anything wrong. If I did, I'll leave a pinned comment and let you guys know. Um, but basically what we're looking at over here is each stage you're doing, whether you're farming stage one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we've got the love potions per run. Uh, and then we've got the 
you're doing three per day, so it's just that multiplied by three. And then this is based off 20 days, just the total of that. Now that's your like raw total if you could just farm those, but the step up totals is taking into account the fact that say, if you wanna farm seven from the start, you've also got to do one run of stage one, two, three, four, five, six, seven before you get to seven and then you continue farming it. Now I do get that some people may go one, two, three, four, five, and then farm five for three days and then go on to six and then farm six, but I can't account for everyone's progression. So just keep in mind, these are like fixed numbers uh, if that's all you farm the whole time. Uh, so the only people that this really applies to exactly is gonna be the people who farm seven off the bat, uh, and that's gonna be the totals that they can achieve. Now, when we take a look at this, uh, like I said, that's the step ups, and then this is the missions included, the totals you will actually get. Now, I've included for 20 days as well as 21 days, just because when we come back over here to the event, uh, if I move my head, it says uh, that we've got 20 days left. Now, I, I'm assuming that's 20 days and like X amount of hours, meaning that the total event is 21 days, but I don't know how that scales. So it might actually only be that the full event is 20 days and we've actually got 19 days and a certain amount of hours left and it rounds up. So that's why I've gone over here and calculated it uh, in both formats being 20 days, uh, and then 21 days. So basically based off that formula uh, or that format, if it's 20 days, you know, if, if, uh, if you're good enough to do stage seven from the get go, you're gonna get 59.70. Now keep in mind with these, like I said, we got in the mail 300. If they give us more in the mail later on, that will add to this. So, you know, you're going to end up over 6,000 if you're doing number seven. But if it's 21 days, which I'm hoping it is, and I think it is uh, based off what I'm seeing there, then you'll get 6,300 plus another 300. So the stage seveners will get 6,600 uh per day. So, I mean, if you've been playing since launch, I'd say seven is going to be achievable. I feel like I'll probably get it. I started a week after, um, but... You know, even if you're only doing six plus the extra 300, you're going to get there. So it's not too bad. Um, so that is where we're at for the calculation. So 6,000, uh, you know, a realistic target when you consider that in the mail um, and stuff like that. So let's go jump back over to the game and take a look at what 6,000 does actually buy us. So I went to the wrong thing. If we go over here to the chocolate shop, uh, you know, skins for 2,000, then it leaves you 4,000 left over, which you can get, you know, two uh, hero copies, or you can just buy three hero copies. For me personally, I think I'm actually going to pick up these bad boys again. I just like the extra resources for the long term. Uh, so I'll probably pick up them for 2,000 uh, combined and then pick up two, uh, two copies of uh, units as well is pretty much what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of just getting two copies of Jacqueline personally. Um, that's what I'm leaning towards, but I'll think about it over time, uh, over the event and get back to you guys if there's anything like mind blowing that I do discover, but that's essentially what you're looking at. You're looking at, uh, you know, three copies of a character, plus you're going to get one copy of the, plus you get one copy of each character from the thing. So that would be five copies of characters from the event, plus the, the stack of summons that we get on top of it, which is still really solid for me. However, this is not as good for the whales or for further progressed players, um, as the last event, I don't think because the last event, you know, if you're getting massive, massive damage, you could have got a lot of, like a lot of rewards, I think. Um, but, you know, it's still pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with it. I got no complaints, uh, although I know some will. It is what it is. I think it's pretty solid, 6,000. Um, you know, I, I get my, th my four little buildings and then two copies of a hero. I'm pretty set. This is like an event that's giving me extra AFK loot and three copies of Jacqueline and a copy of Rebecca. I'm pretty cool with that, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, if my math is wrong, let me know uh, and I'll adjust it and I'll put it in the pinned comment. I do apologize if anything is wrong was there, but I'm pretty sure I double checked it because I did have an error once uh, and I'm pretty sure that's right. So that is going to be for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.